So here we are today at a brand new site for us, but we've been invited here by Mick and Sarah of Manchester Mudlarks. Yeah. And we're also here with Charlotte, who's come all the way up from the south. And we're going to see what we can find. Yeah, it's a pretty big dump. It's absolutely pitted with holes. <laughs> so there's loads of potential here. And uh, yeah, we're eager to uh, get started. So let's, let's do, do it. it. first find is actually a marble. Look at that. That is lovely. Look at it. German marble. That will clean up really nice. Might have a bit of damage on it. But I'm really happy with that. Fantastic. My first find, actually, is down here. I heard Mum's just found a German marble. <laughs> it's not quite as good as that. It is a vulcanite bottle stop. And it's probably a local one. Probably a Manchester one. Oh, that's cool. What's that say? Something and sun. Can't read it. Second find. You can see it there marble clay marble i don't think it's got any pattern on it but that's lovely i think it's porcelain actually like a playing marble i'm in quite a big hole here actually i'm looking at the stuff that's kind of fallen down the sides and collected here in the bottom so yeah i'm hoping there's gonna be some little treasures here down here i found the last remnants of the last bottle digger that was here. R.I.P. Down here is a wooden stopper, which I think predate the uh, vulcanite ones. Um, I think it's got something on it there. What does that say? Mags? Something like that. Down here is a little vulcanite stopper. Patent. What does that say? Riley's? Patent Riley's. Hmm. Interesting. What is that thing there just sticking out the bank? Is it a bead? Oh, might be half a bead? No. No, I think it's a little button. I think it's like part of a little glass button. Oh, that's quite cool. It's a little cabochon. A little cabochon for a ring or something. I think it's made of glass. There's a mouthpiece here. I think it's vin uh, vincolite? Vintage <laughs> bakelite. Um, mouthpiece for an old clay pipe. Or wooden pipe. Might, it's probably wooden on the end. And it's broken though because there's the other part of it. Hmm, I think I'll leave that behind. And up here looks like our first pipe ball of the day. Yeah, it is. It's not, oh, whoops. It's not chipped or anything, but it is a plain one. Still taking it though, because that's lovely. It's in good condition. The unmistakable piece of doll's head. But this is just the chin. <laughs> the chin and the neck. But Sarah might be able to use that in part of her doll displays, so I'll keep it. Okay, so Mick actually very kindly pointed this out to me. Don't tell Sarah. But, pipe ball. Oh wait, hold on a minute. It has got something on it. I don't know what it is, but there's definitely something on there, look. Oh no, the people! Running. 
It's not a football pipe, is it? Look. Hey, people. I think there are people running and there's a ball down there. It's a football pipe. Oh, that's cool. I've only ever found one, uh, one other of these before. So Alex has found an amazing a football, football pipe. pipe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It is, I think. Yeah, I think it is. But that's the second only one we found. Fantastic. How cool is that? And it's got quite a bit of stem on it as well. Yeah, it does. It like there's like even grass on the bottom, like they're playing <laughs> on the grass. How cool! Fantastic! Yay! And here is a super little bottle. Oh yeah! We found these before. Oh, I can't remember what they're called again. Ah, uh, is it welcome? Might be a welcome, brother. A welcome and something bottle. But that's fantastic. I love these little monogrammed pill bottles. It's beautiful. Pipe bowl. I think it's plain. It's plain, but quite pretty and great for making something with. Wait, what's it got on here? I don't think it is plain. Oh, it's got writing on it there. Oh, fantastic. Wait, wipe it on my trousers. What does that say? I think it says Dublin. I'm sure that says Dublin. Yeah, Dublin. Dublin and Ireland. It's a little Irish pipe. Oh, how cute. Fantastic. And I think I've just spotted the tiniest little white bead. Look at, oh, I can't even pick it up. Look at that, it's tiny. I love it. Always love a bead. This little ball thing down there, is it a bead? No, it's just a little ball. I think it's probably a baking bean or something. I can see it. I didn't realise this is what it was until I, I gave it a bit of a prod. It's here. Can you see what it is? Oh, yes. It's an arm. It's an arm. It's a tiny arm. We're looking for arms. Well, we need arms. Yeah. We need arms because we we're trying to make some dolls at the minute. Yep. And yes, we are in desperate need of little arms. We are. So isn't that good? Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, I think this is lead. I'm not sure if it's a lead toy or what's it? It's a bit it might be just out of a battery or something. Actually, is that not a chair? Oh my goodness it is. It's a chair. It's a little tin lead alloy chair. <laughs> Never found a chair before, there's another first. How weird is that? I mean, obviously, it's a little bit dead. It's a little bit mangled. But still, yeah, never found one before. That's really cool. I also was carrying this about, this tiny little shirt of pottery here. It's got something on it. Like a little person overlooking a balcony or something. But I thought that was quite cute, so I'm keeping hold of that. And I see something else over here. Because that to me looks like a tiny little bottle. Oh, it is, and it's whole as well. No chips, no chips. Beautiful. Look at that tiny little flared lip bottle. Love it. Hasn't got any embossing on it or anything wondering if it was some kind of marking ink bottle. Wonderful. A chair and a little bottle. Big hole with some kind of like buggy thing. <gasps> down it. I don't know why that's there, but there's some bottles down there. I'm not sure if I should go and check them out or not. Looks like a little glass button. I really enjoy finding little buttons actually. Down here is a glass okay. bottle stop. Always love these. Oh, it's got something on it as well. I think it's Holbrook's and Co. Holbrook and Co. Co. Fantastic. 
So there's a lovely little bishop's bottle here that Mick found and it's kind of a pale blue and I don't know what this is. It's ceramic. It's got a hole there and it's glazed on that end. It's got a chip in it but what is it? What is it? I don't know. Oh, this bit of pottery has got a little cottage on it. How cute is that? Oh, I wish it had been more, more of the cottage showing. What a shame. It's a nice bit here as well. Oh my goodness, look how tiny this little soul is. Oh wow, that is tiny. I love it. A tiny, tiny little toddler's shoe sole. I'm keeping it. When I found this tiny shoe sole, I didn't know it was hiding a secret. But after careful cleaning, Alex noticed there was something stamped on the bottom. It took a couple of days, but eventually I managed to decipher the cursive writing as natural form. The earliest mention of natural form shoes for children is in the Dundee Evening Telegraph of December 1906 by bootmakers A. Potter and Son of 14 Murraygate. These shoes, as their name implies, are built so as to allow the utmost freedom to the feet of children. In early life, the growth of the feet should not be hindered by tight-fitting shoes. They solve the problem that has troubled the minds of many mothers. In a book called Paediatrics by Thomas Morgan Roch, 1897, there is a section on children's feet where they discuss the importance of having the shoe sole the correct shape to allow the proper development of the young child's foot. In the late 19th century, articles began to appear in newspapers in regard to allowing children's feet to develop naturally and to avoid shoes that would deform young feet. A. Potter and Son were Alexander Potter and his son also named Alexander. Mr. Potter Sr. died in May of 1906, leaving a fortune of almost £11,000. Perhaps Alexander Jr. had taken note of the growing demand for better fitting shoes for children and used his share of his father's fortune to develop his ideas to become one of the first, if not the first, to start making, advertising and selling better shoes for children. So much history in one little bit of leather. Wow, so look at this bit of pottery. I didn't think much of it at first when I first saw it, but it actually has an angel on there. I think it's an angel. No, it's not. It's not. I think it's a Chinese lady with the parasol. I thought they were wings. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to take that. Right, so we are actually in these gorgeous woods. It's like a rainforest at this time of year because it's raining and it's quite warm. But, yeah, everyone's already walked over this. Oh, pipe bowl. I don't think there's anything on it. There's nice a seam decoration, but really good condition. And I also found this, which I think is cellulose. I think it was off a button. I'm not 100% sure, it might have been like off the lid of something. But it's like tortoise shell, like imitation tortoise shell. That was quite cool. Oh actually, does it fit on the pipe? Like this old pipe cap. <laughs> there we go. jar complete oh no it's got one little chip that means I can't leave it behind I can 
yeah, Sarah's voice, and I can see mum over there. This is honestly, it's like being, it's like being in a jungle. Everything's trying to get us. There's these brambles everywhere which try and stab you and trip you up. And then there's the dreaded stinging nettle. And you just have to brush against them and they leave a horrible stinging sensation on your skin for hours and hours. So it is a little bit intrepid. We have to be a bit intrepid. And of course, I found the tiniest bead in the whole dump. Look at that. Oh wow. I'm an expert miniature bead finder. It's a lovely coloured bottle down here. Is it whole? Yes it is. Oh that's beautiful. Look at the colour of it. And there's a tinsy bottle here. Oh it's got something in it. Oh what's it got in it? something metal inside. What could it be? I can't see through. How strange, a mystery. I have to see when I get home what on earth that could be in there. We love a mystery and this one has us baffled. It's a little bottle with what appears to be a brass rod inside and another bit of brass stuck in the neck. If any of you have any idea what could be going on here, we'd love you to let us know in the comments below. I think this is a bone ring. Looks like a, it's a solid glass rod, cobalt blue. Now that would be excellent for making beads with. I wonder what it was, a stirrer or something. Great. Down here is another glass stopper. This looks like a nice bottle. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. How cute. I don't think it's chipped either. Fantastic. Are we finding a lot of these recently? Look, it's a knuckle bone. Can't tell what colour it is. Oh, it's it's like, I don't think we've found this kind of colour before. It's like blue, green, bluey green. That's quite interesting. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it, how well you can see it on the camera. It's almost like iridescent. Oh, what's that? What's this thing? Is anything? Oh, I think it might be a bit of a figurine. Yeah, the remains of a figurine. Broken cod bottle here that, of course, says Manchester. What's that? Rob Wilson and Co. Manchester. A bottle and a really nice piece of flowery spongeware. Oh, look, cod marble. It's my first cod marble today. It is a cod marble, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> my first cod marble of the day. And another shed with a house on it, just tantalizingly not whole. <laughs> oh no. I think I'll keep this one though, because it's so pretty. There's a lovely amber bottle here, but it's quite big. I don't know whether to take it or not. I'll see if any of the others want it. Now this bottle down here looks to have its label still on. Oh, wow. Can I clean it off without the label coming off. <laughs> I can't read it. Right, put that in my bag. See if it dries off enough to read it. 
There are lots of lovely little bottles down this hole. Look at them. Lovely colour. Little burst lips. But I cannot take any more bottles home unless they are extra special. So I'm leaving them for someone else. It's quite an interesting applied lip. Look at that. Bottle here. Let's see what it has on it. It says... I wasn't focused. I think it says... Um, H. Edmonds, um, Swinton. So that's cool. It's a cool local bottle. Okay, so I'm crawling around under these old trees on my hands and knees, and I think it's finally paid off because look down here. Can you see just a little something sticking out there? Oh, wow. Oh wow, that is the tiniest, that is the tiniest doll's house, uh, doll's house, doll's, doll, <laughs> what am I saying, it's the tiniest doll's head, but it would have been a doll's house doll, that's what I was thinking of, <laughs> I cannot hardly see it under these trees, I was just about to turn around when I saw the corner of it just sticking out there, that is wonderful. No chips, completely whole. This is the smallest doll's head of this type that we have found and it's a little beauty. I have a feeling she'll be remade into a doll once again someday soon. And as soon as I emerge out of the woods, oh, an ear, <laughs> not surprising. <laughs> That looks nice. That's a nice bottle there as well. It is RWS Limited White. RS White. Now we don't often find the white bottles actually, but we see them regularly being found down here. I really like this lid. It's just like a really plain little lid off like a little ointment jar or something. I like that. And the va the holes in here, the bottle things holes are vast. I can't even hear Mum, Sarah, Mick, Charlotte are up there somewhere in the woods. I can't even hear them anymore. This place is huge. This little pot looks nice. Oh, look at that. You know what? I am certain we've got a lid that would fit that because look around the edge. Wow. That's probably some kind of little, like, maybe like a face cream or something. Be nice if face cream still came and things like this today, wouldn't it? Oh, that's cool. I'm going to take that. This little lid I found before is a little bit too wee. And what's that? Oh, no. I thought it was whole. It's got a chip in the lip. But what does it say? It's got words on it. What's that say? Try? Oh, it must be a sample. Try Pritchard's teething powders. Oh, we know how great teething powders used to be. Oh, I'm being called from up there. In 1906, the British Medical Journal published an analysis of the powders in an article, The Composition of Certain Secret Remedies. This gave the description as Pritchard's Teething and Fever Powders. Sole Proprietors, Pritchard's Limited, Cheadle, Manchester, England. The analysis showed the powders did not contain any of the harmful ingredients like laudanum and alcohol which were present in earlier products such as the notorious Mrs Winslow's soothing syrup that had caused the deaths of so many babies and young children in the latter part of the 19th century. This is a sample bottle which is sadly damaged but will be added to our collection as we don't yet have one like it. Mum's found me! <laughs> through the jungle <laughs> I've been discovered in my hiding place because we're finding all the treasures down here look 
I've just found this little bottle and I'm pretty sure it's got embossing on it. It's a screw top, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's really modern or anything. Oh, look at that. French polish. It's not another sample bottle again, is it? It must be, because it's teensy. What's that say? Um, un? Edit? Does that say? Oh, un edit. I can't quite see. I can't quite see. Can you see? Let's see. French polish. It's got like a little, little milled edges there as well. That is so cool. I have a feeling that is a little sample bottle because it's, it's you couldn't polish much with that. <sighs> The amount you get in there. That's cool, two sample bottles just in this one spot. This little bottle is actually embossed with You Need It on one side and French polish on the other. It was advertised between May and July of 1899 in the Manchester Evening News, suggesting that the product and company You Need It Co. of Salford were quite short lived. You Need It claimed their French polish acts like magic producing a hard, dry, permanent, brilliant and lustrous polish with little or no labour in rubbing. When an advertisement starts with, we don't want your money, it usually means they do. An advert goes on to state, if you desire to make your house the envy of your friends and neighbours, send a postcard with your name and address together with the name of this newspaper and you will then receive a bottle free of charge. And this, presumably, is the sample bottle that was sent out. The company was located at 116 Chapel Street, Salford in Manchester, England. Numbers 100 and 116 are all premises located under the arches of a Victorian railway viaduct. All still occupied except number 16, which is boarded up and derelict. You need it French polish. What a shame no one actually did need it. Tiniest little black seed bead there. Oh no, oh no. It's so tiny. Did I get it? I think I got it. There it is. I'm going to put it straight in my bag before I lose it. It's so easy to lose. And are my eyes deceiving me? Is this another German marble? No, it is. You've got another one. Not sure if it's German. It's a marble. Let's have a look. Wow. Oh, it's German. It's German. Yeah, I can see it's all swirly. I can't see very, very well. I haven't got my close-up oh, glasses Oh, I see a marble on. as well. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. Alex has just found one. It's clay. A clay it's one. Not, it's not as nice as yours. But Fantastic. still. Fantastic. I mean, I came down here to get the oh. stopper. And that's when I saw the marble. There's a little stopper there as well. But I'm really chuffed with that. My second marble today. Okay, so I found a long tonic and we've got a few of these, but this one is blue. Look, the glass is blue. That is amazing. Haven't got a blue one. Fantastic. I've just found two cute, tiny bottles. Look at those. Aren't they lovely? Is that one cracked? Not sure, but that one is gorgeous. Look how thin it is. Look down here. Going in. It's like a secret dowel. Oh, I can see some a bottle with writing on it. So what's this? What's it? What does it say? It says linseed compound oh that's quite interesting i might keep that embossed on this little bottle is k brothers linseed compound trademark stockport this isn't the first time we found a bottle from the k brothers of stockport some of you may remember back in may we found one of their coaguline adhesive bottles now the two bottles can stand reunited in our ever-growing collection. 
Oh, can you spot the find? Oh wait, I can see two finds. I've just spotted find number two. You might have spotted that. <laughs> okay, so first find, it's a little noggin. It's a little person with a hat on. How cute's that? And then the second find I just spotted is this big marble. This big playing marble, look at that. We've got two finds in proximity. And I think Mum's just found something over there. I think we found a lid. There we go, yes. Little doll's lid. We find these all the time, but never the little thing that the lids actually sit on. But we've got dozens of lids now. I think I've just found a little lead button down here. And you might think, why on earth would someone want a lead button? It's for weighing down curtains. <laughs> Mum just answered me over there. <sighs> weighing down curtains or the hems of dresses, but it was probably off a curtain at this age of dump. Oh look, there it is in the trees. A lesser spotted Sarah. A lesser spotted Manchester mudlark. Have you found many treasures? It's not treasures, I found uh like glass stoppers, yeah. a bit of bigger, um, little bottles really. Little bottles, yeah, yeah there's quite of, a few. Yeah, lots of little bottles. Well, all the treasures are down here, let me tell you. Oh no! We've got all the treasures. How do we get down there quickly? Slide, slide. I'm, I'm going to go round now. <laughs> I'm going to get on film, I'm going to go round. Okay, so I found this amazing little bottle, but look, <laughs> it's <can> broken. <laughs> I should get this on film. And there's Sarah. <laughs> Struggling to get under this tree. <laughs> and it's worth it. The things we do to get those, the things we do to get the treasures, eh? I take the bag off next time. <laughs> oh, did it. She did it. Uh, but yeah, this uh, little bottle, penny perfume. We're going to take it and see if we can mend it because we've never come across one like that, and I don't think we'll come across one like that again. And what is this? This is strange. I've not seen anything like this. Like a terracotta, a little terracotta bowl. Oh my goodness, that's lovely. Maybe it was putting a plant pot on. Fab. Sarah's just gone and found some dentures. Our favourite find. Oh, they're interesting ones. They're quite thin, those teeth yeah, on there, they're aren't they? Yeah, little thin teeth, aren't they? Little narrow teeth. Yeah, yeah like vulcanite dentures. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. A Who doesn't love them? Who doesn't? Mick doesn't love them. Uh, doesn't he? No, he, can't. Oh, he won't go anywhere near them. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> he makes them, though. He makes them He himself. makes them, <laughs> yeah. He does a pretty people. good job at making them. Yeah, yeah. but no, he won't <laughs> go anywhere near those. They're very thin. Okay, so I just picked this up and turned it over and look, it's amazing. It's like a Persian carpet seller or something, but he's got his hand missing and something missing on his face and his knees. But then I, I'll zoom in, then I found his hand, which goes here and joins onto his face and he's smoking a pipe. And then Alex went and found this, which is part of his knees. So we're gonna put him back together as much as we can. Still bits missing, but I think he's fantastic. Look, he's wonderful, the colors. Wow, I love it. Oh, I think that's one of the favourite, my favourite figurines. This bloke down here. Because it, it's just so colourful, isn't it? It is, it's gorgeous. He's so colourful. And he's smoking a pipe. And he's smoking a pipe. Gotta love a figure that's smoking a pipe. Oh, brilliant. And went and found the knees, some of the knees. Some of the knees goes here. Look how colourful he is. And he's his so foot. colourful. We just need to find this knee. Yes, we need the knee. Oh. oh, I doubt, I doubt we'll find it amongst all this lot. I fell in love with this figurine as soon as I saw it. 
The detail just seemed so fine. Now, after cleaning, it is even more stunning. So beautifully painted with vibrant colours. He appears to be a Western interpretation of an Arabian gentleman, perhaps a Persian rug seller, and he's smoking what looks like a clay pipe. We have glued what pieces we could find back onto him. It is a shame that we couldn't find more, but to be honest, I love him just the way he is. I did try to find out more, but just couldn't find anything like him. If you recognise him or know anything about who made him, we'd love you to leave a comment below. I just found this stopper. It's really, it's quite big and it's really lovely. It looks brand new. It's beautiful. Because it would have had a cork sort of washer around here, like a hollow cork, but it would have gone in to hold it into the bottle. So just under this green bottle, what do I spot down there? Another knuckle bone. It's a really beautiful shiny green one as well. And everyone's jealous, aren't you? You're oh, all yes. you're all jealous. Everyone's yeah. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a lovely one. Yeah, that's in great condition. Yes, yeah. it's a lovely shiny loads. one. That's We've awesome. got a great collection of them. I found a green one last time. Yes, exactly. In fact, I went on to find a third blue and white knuckle bone that unfortunately I didn't get on camera. Okay, so we've got some lovely bottles down here. Got this beautiful, it's like green, greeny ink bottle. This beautiful, actually, I, I have to admit, I didn't find this here. I found it in a hole down there somewhere. But it's bubbly and hand blowing as well into a mold. How lovely is that? We don't really often find amber bottles. Beautiful and a rare pipe bowl. Pipe, pipes just aren't common here. Further up north, we, get, we find loads of them on a dump like this. So it's really interesting. Maybe just people didn't smoke as much down here than they did further up north and in Scotland. This is my first glass bottle stop today. My first one. I haven't found many of these. You usually find lots of these as well. It's interesting, the different things you can find in different parts of the country. It says a lot about the, about the culture of the area. They didn't smoke as much down here. So this is the first mini one ounce, what is it? One ounce OXO bottle we found yet. Mum said she found one before, but left it behind because she thought we'd already found one. Oh, but I'm pleased I found one <laughs> because we do not have one of these. Oh, lovely. I know I'm not supposed to be taking bottles, but I just found this little pot and look at it. It's so cute. That is gorgeous. It's pink around the edge. We might sure. have a little lid to fit that. Sure we will have a lid to fit that, yeah. won't we? We've got loads of lids. You That's can put, so little, put little treasures in. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we were just about to go and look what I found down here. It's a bucket list find and I've wanted to find one of these for years. Look at that. Can you tell what it is? It looks like something completely different like that, but when you flip it over, it's a doll's eye. Oh wow, look at that. Bucket list find, finally found a doll's eye. Congratulations. Well done, yes. Alex. Not at all bitter. Or... <laughs> oh, thank you. Well done, Alex. Well done. Well done. Thank, you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I've wanted to find a whole doll's eye for so long, and now here it is. A beautiful blue pinched glass lampwork eye that was probably made in Germany. It fits perfectly into one of our larger found doll heads, which unfortunately are always broken. But as we have proved, broken is not always a bad thing. Broken is part of the journey, so keep a lookout on our crafting channel to see the broken can also be beautiful. Okay, so the eye was not the last find of the day because I just found this little blue bead in this clump. It was just sticking out the side of it. So, a great way to finish off the day. A nice little glass bead. 
We have some really smashing finds on our table this week from our tip lark in Manchester with friends Manchester Mudlarks and Charlotte. We love all our finds, from our regular old favourites to some new surprises and bucket list find. Which ones have caught your imagination this week? To see what the others found, see Manchester Mudlarks video, link down in the description below. Don't forget to follow the links below to subscribe to our new arts and crafts channel Northern Mudlocks Make, where you can watch us creating new treasures from the things we find. Our new video will be up this Friday 9pm BST. had an amazing day yeah. at this amazing Manchester dump with the Manchester Mudlarks and Charlotte. <laughs> it has had been a really good day yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, found Fantastic. some great things. Yeah. Found an eye, a doll's eye, which was a huge bucket list find for me. Yeah. And we found some love, like loads of knuckle bones, yeah. doll's heads. I can't remember great that. I know. <laughs> We're but, all so tired and worn yeah, out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We're a bit knackered now. But anyway, all that's left to say now is a great big thank you to everyone who has liked this video, who has subscribed to our channel and left a comment down below. And of course, a big thank you to our... Patrons on Patreon who help to keep us going every month. Yeah. So thank you so much. And to everyone else who has donated in any other way. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so we really <laughs> have. Do that again. We were going to go. Oh no! Close. One, two, three. At the no. end, we don't. At the work. end, we don't do them. This is the way you said it. You don't know what to do them. You're going. What do I do? What do I do? We went. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just point over there, really. Yeah, yeah. Hi. <laughs> don't count. Don't count. Just stop. Confusing us. Okay. Right. Mm. Oh. Take two. It's a little hey. pewter lid here. It looks Stay like there. the pewter lid of a. Um, Stay near Catherine. Oh, absolutely. Pewter <laughs> lid of a. Um, yeah. Could be a pewter lid like of.